We're the D's. Yeah. You're Dean and I'm Deanna. All right, Look Deanna. At that. We, our names are pretty similar. Yeah. That's cool. So I call you the musical genius. Mm. And what I learned in talking with you is that you also studied science like I did. Mm -hmm. You studied molecular biology. Yes, I have a master's degree in molecular biology. A master's biology. degree. So that's, that's so fascinating for me to see that you have a very interesting journey of science and art. Mm -hmm. And how you wove those two things together, science and, and music. Do you feel like you ever took science as a method into how you put music together? That's an interesting question. I, the music we make is, comes spontaneously. Hmm. And that's, it leaves it real open to what we call music. Mm. And uh, the scientific method is experiment and have others look at your experiments and do your experiments to make sure that they're real and they're yeah. working. And that they can be reproduced. Yes. Yeah. That's the basic principle of science. And um, with music, it either works or it doesn't work. How do you know if it works? That's the question. <laughs> what uh, you come up with that does work makes you feel good. Mm. And mm -hmm. the work that we have are doing is um, healing work through music. Yes. And that is it gets pretty subtle sometimes. Mm -hmm. So watching it on a scientific level with a bent like that, it it helps diversify the music and helps define where you're headed. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned about healing, healing in music, and that really is what your lifelong career has been around, is making nature-infused healing sounds. What is the connection between healing and sound. You know, I, I work on the food side, so I'm always looking at healing through food and mm. nutrition. So what is, how is healing through sound different than healing through nutrition? Sound is pure vibration. And everything in our world has a signature vibration. Everything. And that listening to music gets you in touch with the spread, the spectrum of uh, sound that is available. Mm. I know when I listen to music, I feel relaxed. Mm. Or sometimes I can be more active and activated. But when I listen to some of your work, I feel this connection to nature. Mm -hmm. I feel this connection to getting back to what maybe I've lost connection with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, one of the premises of our, our music is nature mm -hmm. as the leading sound. And uh, nature is phenomenal, it's beautiful, yeah. it's complex, yeah. it's uh, challenging to understand what's going on in the natural systems yeah. because it's so vast. Uh, 
creating music that reflects the peaceful space in oneself, mm. which can be done by oneself in a room alone, or you can work it with other people, mm -hmm. other musicians, and create more sophisticated music. Well, I really love the fact that you mentioned to me that you record nature sounds directly. Mm -hmm. So I was at the river that you live by this morning and I thought that's a great idea just to capture the sound of this river to bring that energy that vibration you know there, there's magic there's mystery there's healing in that sound of water moving mm -hmm. so I really like the fact that you've incorporated whether the sounds of the forests the sounds of water various types into your music and you've really flown with that with your own with your own instruments with things like the flute mm -hmm. so it's a really beautiful um, bringing together of that integration of you weaving together nature sounds with your your sounds of music and then it just feels like the synthesis yeah it comes together on its own yeah mm -hmm. the music we play comes from somewhere. I don't know where it comes mm. from. It's very sacred. Yeah. It's very special. And it's very strong. Yeah. And so it's uh, fascinating each time we go to play music what comes out. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And you're working on a number of different projects now, right? Yeah, we're always working on projects. <laughs> Keeps us off the street. <laughs> so tell me more about the Earth Resonance Frequency. Earth Resonance Frequency is an amazing phenomenon of the Earth. Mm. A resonant frequency is a frequency that is the same as another frequency so you're and the earth just like a bottle that you blow across mm. it makes a tone and the earth has a similar tone it's sub audio mm. but it's uh, it has been measured at 7.83 cycles per second. 7.83 cycles per second. How is that measured? Um, they found, they measured the sound of the cavity of the earth. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Atmospheric. Atmospheric cavity. Yeah, the atmospheric cavity of the earth. Okay. So are you incorporating that frequency into your music now? Yes, we put that in our music. Oh, okay. We drop it in. Okay. It's not a musical expression mm -hmm. because it's one frequency. Yeah. You know, so often we talk about food as medicine. Mm -hmm. I think music can be medicine because if I listen to a three or four minute song, I can change my mood after that song. So it's healing in some way. And mm. I, I think that the future of healing and of medicine is really to go into these more subtle vibrations. Yeah, definitely. And you and I talked even about, since your background is molecular biology, creating music for biochemical pathways in the body. How interesting it would be if you wanted to produce something in the body or reduce something in the body could there be a frequency or a tone mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. a musical note or some combination of music to get to that yeah yeah i think that's a, a great area for potential ex exploration yeah and i think it's very valid And you're the person to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Having the background you do with the emphasis on healing sounds. Yeah. 
I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Yeah.